Oh my god, that is a 150 Baryonyx. Oh snap, dude. Um, yeah. Uh, count me in. Yeah, absolutely count me in. I want a freaking 150 Baryonyx. Are you shitting me? What's up, guys? It's Riantium here, and today we are back in Ark Survival Evolved. That's right, you guys. And oh snap, is it gonna be an awesome freaking day? But first, if you guys enjoy what you're about to see, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more daily videos. And if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter. Link is down there in the description. So guys, welcome, welcome back. And happy Thursday, everybody. That's right, one more day and we'll be at Friday. You know it, almost there, guys. So what did we do in the last episode, guys? Well, in the last episode, we decided to spend most, if not the whole entire day, over at the castle. And what did we do at the castle? Well, we finally made up all the paints in Ark, and we started painting some really pretty pictures around the um, around the castle and stuff like that. And I'm so freaking happy with how the paintings turned out. But guys, off camera, like I said, I was just a tad bit busy uh, putting up a bunch more paintings and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and run back to the base, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. And then... After we were done channeling our inner Bob Ross and painting a whole lot of stuff, uh, we went out into the Bull Cannon and we found ourselves a raptor, and it was a 140 raptor, just kind of a random tame that I've wanted to tame so that we could put the Bionic Rex or the Bionic Raptor skin on it, uh, just for kind of collection's sake, you know. But let's see, let's go ahead and drop. There we are. And let's go ahead and see what this place looks like. So up here is where I did all of the work. But check this out, dude. I just found out that the, the fireplaces, they have placeable mantles. So you can place, like, the painting canvas on top of the fireplace. So you can actually have, like, a picture on your fireplace. So there's the Alpha Wyvern head. I thought, I think that's one of my favorite pictures. And then we got a picture of the castle, which is just freaking beautiful. And then we've got... Uh, this is a flower with kind of a beachy landscape, kind of pretty. And then over here, yeah, I put that one up. <laughs> then over here, we got the blue flower uh, from the last episode. And then right here, this is, I don't even know who this is. <laughs> it's just some random dude that I took a picture of on the server um, uh, through uh, scuba goggles. That's what that that's what the uh, black outline was. And then right here is just kind of like a little, I don't know, it's a picture of the tree line, but it's super dark. I might take that one down. And then right here, we've got a picture of the Microraptor. And look at how cool that comes out, dude. That looks so freaking sweet. And then finally, we've got this one right here, which was the Pteranodon floating over the water uh, in the tree line and stuff like that, where it did not capture n any of the mountains or any of that stuff in it. So kind of unfortunate that it didn't get it, but that is quite all right. But I did some work on Zetabyte as well, guys. And uh, let me tell you, Zetabyte's looking pretty damn good. Let's go ahead and jump on the back of a wyvern or something while I'm talking to you guys. So what do we have on the docket for today's episode, guys? Well... In today's episode, I believe what we're going to go and start off with is we're going to paint the, the bionic skins. So, in the last episode, I had said that I wanted to paint the bionic skins, but I got so caught up in uh, painting the pictures and making the dyes and taming the raptor that I completely spaced and forgot to paint them. But today, today we're going to remedy that by painting Kate's idea, we're going to paint Todd, we're going to paint the Parasaur, the Trike, the Stego, and the Raptor. So that's kind of what we got on the docket for the first part of today's episode. And then the second part of today's episode, guys, I think we're going to leave that open because I think there's a couple things that I want to do. Um, I just need to remember them. <laughs> it's It kind of left my brain. But as you can see, guys, Zetabyte got an amazing freaking makeover. Green and black, my colors, you know, and a little bit of white. You know, a little bit of white on her face just like that. Yeah, that's right, girl. You look at me. You look at me. Yeah, look away, ho. Mm-hmm. All right, just look at how freaking cool that looks. I love that so freaking much. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with one of the other bionic skins. Let's do the Stego first, because the Stego skin looks freaking epic. Let's go ahead and pull him out of here. I also put saddles on the Stego, the Parasaur, uh, the Raptor. I actually just made saddles for everything, uh, because there was stuff in here that did not have saddles in the first place. But let's see. Let's go ahead and paint this thing together. So let's go ahead and... You know what? Here. We're gonna we're gonna continue along with this green and black theme. Cause I think that's gonna look the coolest. So go ahead and zoom in a little bit, just like that. And let's see, what is okay, so that is just like that. Okay, I wanted to make sure that 
I was looking at the correct spot on the stego. All right, let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit just like that. There we go. Okay, so now we need the green color. Let's see. Uh, should we do forest green? I feel like forest might look pretty good. Let's see. I want to make the green spikes. I want to make the spikes green, the color. <laughs> yes, that's what I want. Except instead of forest green, let's go with the bright green. Uh, because I want it to be able to pop just like that. Jesus, dude, that's cool. Alright, now let's go with the forest green for kind of the darker accents. And then we'll get black going as well. So that right there... That changes the back thigh. We only want really, like, we really only want green accents because the black is what's going to be, like, the most prominent thing. Um, oh, dude, this is going to look super cool. It's going to be one of the most prominent features of the Stego's skin. Okay, that's a cool one. We're going to go ahead and paint that one forest green. And we'll go ahead and paint... Let's see, what does that change? I can't tell what that changes. We'll go ahead and paint region 4... Uh, dark green as well. And then for the for the black, let's go ahead and paint that black. I think that looks cool. Oh, hell yeah, dude. That is badass. And then that one right there, what would the bright, bright green look like? No, it needs to be the dark green. We need to keep the forest green and the, the lime green kind of separated. Let's see. We'll go ahead and do that right there. And then that right there. Perfect. Let's take a look at it now. All right, let's see. We'll go ahead and put on that. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, <laughs> yes, dude. That looks so freaking cool. God dang it. I love the bionic skins, man. They look so freaking good. But okie dokie, you guys. So I tell you what. Let me go ahead and paint the rest of these skins because I think that's going to look super freaking cool once we've got an entire army of green and black dinosaurs. All right, you guys, so I wanted to bring you guys back in as we paint the Quetzal, but check this shit out. So the Parasaur, I think this is the most badass a Parasaur has ever looked in this game. And then the Raptor, just take a look at how amazing he looks, dude. So freaking cool. And then, for the Trike, I decided to change up the color scheme a little bit, and I gotta say, this thing looks like it's straight out of freaking Transformers, man. I It's it's a Dinobot, I gotta say. It's so freaking cool. And then the Stegosaurus you guys saw, and then the T-Rex. Oh yeah, that's right, you guys. The T-Rexes we're taking in to fight the bosses are most certainly going to have this paint job on them, as well as the tech skins, so that's gonna be super freaking cool. And then over there is uh, Zetabite, but I'm gonna swap up the color scheme one more time for the Quetzal. So the Quetzal skin we didn't really look at yesterday, uh, or you really couldn't see it because it was nighttime at the beginning of the episode, but one thing that I really think is very cool about this skin is if you notice the wings, the wings are sheer metal, but in between it, it's kind of like a hex. I don't know, it's kind of like a hex pattern, kind of like a honeycomb pattern, and it's freaking cool, dude. It makes it, it makes me think of carbon fiber for some reason, and I don't know why, but it just looks so freaking cool. So let's go ahead and paint the Quetz one together, because I have a design idea in my head that should look pretty cool as long as it works. So let's go ahead and tilt it just like that, and we'll zoom in just a little bit more. Okie dokie, there we go. So what we're going to do for the wings, I'm thinking we're going to do an orange. Let's see, region 6. Oh, yes, that's the color that I wanted. Oh, my God, that's going to look so freaking cool. All right, now let's see. Let's swap to cyan just so we can see the color regions change. Okay, so that's the little circles, the little hinges on the wings. That's the carbon fiber in between the wings. Okay, so what if we change that to like, oh, wait, no, we can't do it. Let's do orange. Yeah, I think orange will look very cool. Okay, and that's the wings themselves, okay? Now, we need a red. Let's see, what about a darker red? No, I think it needs to be a bright red. I think that's I think that's the color I'm going for. I think. What I'm trying to make and what I'm kind of failing at making is the, uh, what's his name? The Turuk Maktao from Avatar. I think it looks super freaking cool with these colors. And, I mean, the Quetzal kind of reminds me of that thing. But let's see. Maybe a brick? Maybe one of these colors? I don't know. Because I don't want to make it orange. It's because it's, it's going to be too much orange. Maybe yellow. Yellow did kind of look cool. And then the body can be red. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, so the rest of the body can be this, this red color. Oh, baby. Holy Jesus. Now, let's see. We need to make the circles. Oh, God. It's starting to look like Iron Man now. <laughs> Iron Bird. 
Um, and then let's see, what about a black? Sure. Okay, now let's see what this Quetzal looks like, because maybe it'll look like an iron Quetzal. <laughs> iron Quetz. Oh my god, holy shit, dude. Holy hell, that looks cool, dude. <laughs> oh my god, that is, that is amazing looking. Holy shit, that's crazy looking, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, yeah, I, I, mean, I think I'm gonna keep it as this color scheme. I do like the way that looks. Um... Holy cow, that's super freaking cool. Hell, we can make a golden quetz. <gasps> oh, dude. Wait a second. Maybe I'm not gonna keep this color scheme. What if we did an all gold quetz? Oh my god. And then we had freaking babies and we could call them the gilded babies or something like that. The golden babies. Let's see what an all gold one would look like because I <laughs> now it's in my head and I can't get it out. Let's see. Let's go with the yellow. Um, here, let's let's go ahead and swap to this this bright yellow right there. And then we'll paint that, we'll paint that, we'll paint that, and then we'll paint that, and then we'll paint that. What does an all golden quetz look like? Holy Jesus, it's beautiful. <laughs> oh my god, it's freaking cool, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, yep, yeah, we're gonna go and keep it as this then. We're gonna keep it as the golden quetz. I really like that. And then we'll need to get a male quetz and uh, start pumping out some babies and stuff like that. But okie dokie, let me get everybody else back in their positions inside of Dino Storage and at the Flyer Storage, and then we'll come right back in. All right, you guys, so there's one place on this map that we've really never gone to or at least spent like a decent amount of time in and that's the swamp underneath of the castle and probably for good reason, honestly, there's probably a good reason why we haven't gone over there uh, is just mainly because it's the swamp, you know, it's going to be a terrible place to go regardless of what armor you're wearing. So I figured, you know what? Let's go in there. <laughs> Let's have the dumb idea to go inside of the swamp and see what's down there. But I do actually have a reason for wanting to go down into there. Hello there, Mr. White Sheep. Hi. What you doing? <laughs> what are you doing all the way over here? And what you bouncing for? <laughs> what is going on with this sheep? She is just bouncing all over the place. Uh, so one of the reasons why I want to go into the swamp, either this swamp or the swamp uh, along the um, the southwestern side, I want to find another frog. So we started the aquatic breeding with uh, the squids, you know, normally we would start that with like a mosasaur or like a shark or something like that. Um, but no, we started it with the damn squids, and I've always wanted to see what a baby frogs look, what the baby frogs look like, because I want to see if they have the tadpole tadpole process. You know, that microraptor almost hit me. Is that my microraptor? I was out with them last night. Did that is my microraptor? Look at that, Annie the Annoyance. You're alive. I thought I lost her. Come here, sweetie. Come here. I got gotcha. you. Okay, good. We have a Microraptor for us, or with us, so that if we get attacked by anything crazy, Annie can take them out. But yeah, so I want to see what a baby frog looks like. I want to look like, I want to see what the tadpoles look like, if there are even any tadpoles. So we are now heading into the swamp, and we're going to go ahead and take out the, the long neck rifle with trank darts on it. And uh, we're going to see about finding a frog that's a decent level. That's a level 20. That is not a decent level. So, if you guys remember correctly, uh, Kermit, our current frog, he was a 135, so if we could find something that is around that same level, maybe a tad bit higher, I would be quite happy. Uh, and this swamp, it's not very big, you know, it's not a humongous swamp, so I'm not really that afraid. But you know what else is down here? I bet you we could find a Caprosuchus or 5. Let's see, that's a Sarko level 20. All right, let's see. You know what might help? Let's get a uh, let's get a more vertical approach to this. Let's climb up one of these rock walls or something like that and get away from all these these creepy crawlies in here. Let's go ahead and climb up this wall right here. Oh, there we are. And we'll just go ahead and jump across this way. And I'm back in square one. Wonderful. That did a whole lot, Ryan. Great job. All right, let's see. There should be some frogs in here, like the one that we just saw. Oh, jeez, freaking Sarko just scared the shit out of me. Alright, got the Sarko. We're good on that front. Okay, I don't know if there are leeches in here. That's probably my worst fear, is getting a freaking diseased leech and coming back and just infecting all of my dinosaurs and... Okay, let's see. 
There's like nothing down here. There was there was stuff here earlier today. That's one reason why I wanted to come down here. Okay, I'm hearing something swimming. Something is swimming like right here. Let's see. Yeah, there is like nothing down here. It's pretty safe down here right now. Hell, I'll, I'll build a house down here. Put it up on pillars. <laughs> Let's see. What is that right there? Is that a dinosaur? Those are rocks, Ryan. Those would be rocks. Good one. Let's see. Um, yeah, there's nothing down here. Hell, are we gonna have to run all the way down to that other swamp? It's certainly looking like we're gonna have to because the swamp right now, I would live down here. I would pop up like a freaking home on stilts, put it down here in the marshlands, and I'd be happy if it was like this all the time. But I'm not thinking it's gonna stay like that all the time. Okay, so it looks like we gotta head down to the, uh, the other swamp. Alright, you guys, so we are down here in the swamp now, and I've seen some pretty good dinos down here. So, let's see, that's level 85, but there is a Sarcosuchus down here. I think it ran away with his wife, let's see. Um, oh, that's a 140 Beelzebufo. Oh, hello, that's what we're going for right now, hell yeah. Pretty sure Kermit is a male, that's why his name is Kermit. Uh, but there's a Sarco down here. It's a level 150 freaking Sarco, dude. If we can get a level 150 Sarco, I don't remember... What is the freaking gender of our Sarco? Because our Sarco is a... Uh, is it a male? Gripjaw is his name. I feel like it's a male. It's that one right there, yep. So let's see, is that a male right there? Damn, it's a 150 male. Son of a bitch. I mean, it might be worth it just to tame it, just to have it. Because I do love my Sarcos, you know, but... I don't know. I feel like it would be a wasted tame. Not to mention we're not on the back of a wyvern, so we can't just, like, pick him up, you know? And, I mean, that was my choosing, but oh well. Okay, we need to stay away from those Sarkos and all the Capros and stuff. But where is that frog? Is it this one right here? Oh, it most certainly is this one right here. Hi! And he didn't get knocked out. Holy shit. This should knock him out in one shot, though. Like, not even kidding. Frickin' Ascendant Long Neck Rifle with Shocking Tranks. Okay, he didn't get knocked out in one shot. Ow. Ow. Okay, hopefully my Torpor doesn't rise too much. And he's unconscious. Holy freaking Jesus. What did I tell you? Two freaking shots with this thing. Alright, let's go ahead and grab some Prime Meat Dizzle. And we'll throw it on this Frog Dizzle. A Beelze Bufo. Alright, what am I to fight with? What am I to fight with? Uh. That is not a fun, fun sound. Not one bit. Okay. Go ahead and throw this prime meat inside of his inventory. And we'll let this one tame up. Good, good stuff. So that's a female. That's pretty much exactly what we need, I believe. I'm going to get back to base and find out that Kermit is actually a female. And then I'm going to crap my pants, you know? But let's see. Hello there, Mr. Snail. How you doing? You doing okay? No, you're not. <laughs> so another thing that might be kind of fun to tame, which we might not want to tame down here just because of the sheer number of them, our Dimorphodons. You guys remember my Dimorphodon army? I mean, how could you not? I reference that freaking series a lot. But, maybe a Dimorphodon would be kind of fun to tame. I, I love my Dimorphodons, dude. And if we found two 150s, we could start breeding them for amazing stats. And we could, we could do some pretty good damage to the dinosaurs around our area and stuff like that. Just have, an, uh, have a standing army of like 50 Dimorphodons. And just freaking whistle all follow as a defensive grid. Okay, there's a level 50 male. We need things over level 100. We need things close to 150 if possible. There's a Baryonyx right there. Let's see if I can snipe him in his face. Come here, big guy. Show me that pretty face. Nailed it! He's gone. <laughs> Alright, and it looks like the frog is up. Good, good stuff. So, chances are what we're going to have to do with this frog is we might not be able to take him back to base today. We might have to, might have to keep him down here for a little bit. I'm not sure. How you doing there, big guy? One of my friends has a base down here with a bunch of frogs. I might be able to kind of take refuge at his house. So let's go ahead and grab this Beelzebufo. We'll pull him up on this rock wall up here. And we'll see if we can't find any other fun tames. Oh my god, that is a 150 Baryonyx. Oh snap, dude. Um, yeah. Uh, count me in. Yeah, absolutely count me in. I want a freaking 150 Baryonyx. Are you shitting me? Barry Allen needs a freaking friend. Come here, big guy. Let's get him aggroed to me. Oh, yeah. You want some of this, boy? Oh, I forgot how freaking fast they were. Shit. I forgot how freaking fast they were. Oh, my God. Holy shit. He's keeping up with me. 
I gotta swing around just like this. I gotta kinda, like, circle the wagons a little bit. Just kinda get some pot shots in on him. I don't think he can stun us on land. So we might actually be okay. Oh, and he's already gonna go down. And he's down! <laughs> I love how easily everything drops now for me. It's just such a nice thing. God dang it, dude. Alright, that's- Oh my god, that was a 140 Parister! Okay, we need some prime meat. How much do I have on my inventory? Uh, basically none. Um, let's see, what can I- Oh wait, snakes! Snakes give prime meat, that's right. Hello there, Mr. Snake. I'm coming for you, boy. da na da na da na da na da na da na Give me that meat, boy! Give me that meat! Yeah, that's right, boy. Level 55 Titanoboa and 5 prime meat. So I don't know if 5 prime meat will be enough. Oh, there's a little Diplo! <gasps> I forgot about the Diplocolises! They're so damn adorable, dude! They're so freaking cool, too! Alright, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab... Eh, just grab all the meat off of Aphrodite's inventory. And... There we are! Oh, also, by the way, we're gonna need a name for our brand new frog, if you guys don't mind. Give me some name suggestions down there in the comments section. And we'll see about getting a name on that bad boy. So, these guys do eat non-fish meat, I think is what we found. Wait, do they? No, no they don't. No they don't, that's right, they only eat fish meat. Oh my god, you know what I just realized? I've been putting regular meat inside of the trough with the freaking baryonyx that we have already. I don't think he's eaten in like a week. Because that's all I've been putting in there is regular meat. Oh shit, dude. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> How in the hell is he still alive? And I know he's still alive because I freaking saw him today. Okay, let's come back to the freaking Baryonyx. Where's he at? I lost him. There he is. Let's see. I can't remember. Yep, he only eats fish meat, dude. Damn it. Oh jeez. Okay, so we're gonna need to make sure that Barry Allen has some freaking good fish meat on him. And this is going to take quite a long time. We're going to lose some levels, I think. We might lose one level because we're not using prime fish meat. Okay, there goes one level. So it's not going to be a perfect tame, unfortunately, which I'm kind of butthurt about. But it will be a damn good freaking baryonyx, dude. Not to mention, we'll have a little bit more protection on the way home. Let's see, what level is this guy right here? What do we got? 50. Oh, I thought that said 150, and I was about to poop my pants. I would love to tame a Dimorphodon today, but I don't know if we're going to be able to find one. Ooh, there's a level 90. That's not too bad. Mr. Froggy. Oh, Mrs. Froggy, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think we're going to call it a day on the Dimorphodon search. We're not going to we're not going to get a Dimorphodon today. Perhaps in the next episode we can go out and search for some Dimorphodons. Uh so we're down two levels unfortunately. Kind of sucks one just because we don't have prime fish meat. Level 50. Yeah, that's level 50. We don't need that one. But okie dokie. So I think I'm gonna go and chill here and let this one tame up. I do like his colors though. He's got the green underbelly and he's got a black like uh, like regular scales. I think it was meant for me, you know? They're kind of greenish yellow, I suppose. Kind of meant for me because my colors are green and black, you know? So we'll go ahead and let this guy tame up. Let me go ahead and put the meat back on Aphrodite. That way she's good to go and she can chow down when she needs to. And uh, we'll go ahead and grab this this Baryonyx and then we'll see if there's anything else down here that we want to grab. Because, I mean, we've already gotten a 140 freaking, um, uh, what is it called? Beelzebufo. Buffo. We also got the 140 Baryonyx. We might be able to find, or the 150 Baryonyx. We might be able to find something even better down here. Who knows? But we got some more Apex Drops, Sarcosuka Skins, and Titanoboa Venom. A little bit more movement speed on you and we'll be good to go. Alright, so I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so we got a slight problem right now. We have three full-grown Megalodons chasing after us, and the Frog, and Aphrodite, and the new Baryonyx are all on passive, because I don't want to lose them out in the middle of the freaking ocean. So if all of us can get on the land, please, thank you, that would be wonderful. Holy freaking Jesus. So what happened exactly? What has happened since we left the freaking swamp? Well, I decided to make a raft, and that raft was swiftly destroyed by the lead sickness in the water right there. This son of a bitch came out of nowhere and decided to end my freaking raft. The good part, though, guys, is we ended right next to Blue Obelisk, and I know exactly where to go, and I kind of know how to get back, um, I guess, the safest way. Um, back to the castle, and at least to Viking Bay. 
Uh, so, so yeah, that's kind of what was going on with that. Um, and yeah, he just kind of stranded us. The T-Rex army over there is still over there. I might have to have them move them. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and continue to run them over back to the castle. And then I think today, guys, I think we're going to try and breed Kermit with our brand new frog. I don't know if it's going to work, uh, because like I said, I don't remember if Kermit is a male or not. But we are certainly going to give it the big old college try. So I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so I'm hoping this is all I need in order for these two to breed. They're in shallow water. I would imagine that's all they need in order to breed. So let's see. Let's go ahead and set these two on wander. You two ready to do the dirty? I think you are. Behavior enable wandering. Uh, behavior enable wandering. Move to water to mate. Okay, let's see. They are in the water. Is it just not deep enough yet? Let's see, are you ready to mate? No, okay, so the water's not deep enough, it seems. Behavior, no. I, I wish the frickin' option would stop moving every time they moved. Where'd the other one go? There were just two frogs in this cage. Oh, son of a bitch. Kermit, get your ass back here. I need you to make love to this other frog. Come here. Do not run away from me, boy. Do not run away from me. I will, I will put you in timeout. I will put you in timeout, boy. Okay, there we go. So now we just need to go ahead and move the... We just need to move it deeper. I'm just curious to see how deep it has to be. Does it have to be, like, squid water deep? Or can it be, like, not that deep, you know? Because I don't want to have to go all the way out into the lake and do this, because that's just going to be kind of annoying to have to do. But we might end up having to do that. Let's see. You know what? Let's just go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and put them right... Can you not put these underwater? You gotta be shitting me, right? How the hell are you supposed to breed these things? Either that or I'm lagging very badly. Oh, I'm not lagging. Oh, I am not lagging one bit. You can't place fence foundations underwater? Since when is that a th Oh my god, you're, they're gonna make me make freaking dino gates, aren't they? They're gonna make me make dino gates. God dang it, dude. See, I wanted to come in and just start mating our frogs and have a good old time, but no. No. Freaking hell, dude. All right, now let's see. How expensive is it to make these little dino gates? Wood. What do I need? Stone. Need 80 stone per gate. Goodness gracious. Okay, so we'll make four of these gates as my art gods command. Okie dokie. So now let's see if they will be okay inside of here. They're swimming. So I'm going to go ahead and say that they'll be good to go. Let's go ahead and close our female frog in right here. And let's see if it's ready to mate. See if it's okay to mate now that it's swimming. Yes! Yes, I'm a damn mad, mad genius. I don't exactly know what I just said. Okay, let's go ahead and take off the saddle off of you. Oh, you've got cementing based on you. Thank you. Must have killed a couple bugs on the way over here. All right, Kermit, you ready? All right. Now, here's what you're going to do there, buddy. You're going to give him hell. Get ready to give him hell, big guy. All right. So let's go ahead and get in there. Let's get these two a breeding, and hopefully this will work. Hopefully there's enough room in there for both of them to swim around and make the tadpole babies. Okay, now I'm stuck on top of them. What is going- I don't want to be in this. I don't want to be in a frog orgy. Alright, so we'll go ahead and swim around here. Yeah. And let's go ahead and get these two a breeding, I suppose. Okay, so after about a half an hour of running around trying to get- Oh my god. After about a half an hour of trying to capture these freaking frogs in a taming pen of some sort, I finally freaking got them. Cross your fingers, because I don't even know if it's going to work, like, half the time, but I had to put three dino gates all kind of intersecting with each other, and then close the gates while simultaneously trying to change their, their wander status from sitting to wandering, so that they would not, so that they could breed, but also, every single time I tried to close one gate, another gate would open, and then that gate would close, and then they'd swim right out of the hole. Oh my god, remind me never to breed frogs again, but Jesus criminy, dude, this had better freaking work, because I want to see myself some damn frogs, you know? But okie dokie, she's at 84.2%, and I've been very, very, like, rubber band lag today. I don't exactly know what's been going on. I might have to check my connection, but let's see. Come on, big guy. All right, here we go. It should pop here soon. Uh, she farted. I heard that. Oh, there we go. Oh, sh there's a, uh... There's an orange, there's an orange glow. That that means something is inside. <gasps> Holy hell, there's a little egg. Okay, Kermit is still on wander. I need to grab Kermit before he swims away from me. It's freaking Kermit that's been the problem. Just keeps on swimming away from me, dude. 
Alright, now let's see. Is it incubating? Oh, it most certainly is incubating. Look at that. A fertilized beel is a bufo egg. Oh, it's so damn cool. Alright, let's go and get both of these troublemakers out of here. We'll put them on the beach. Oh, God. That was a freaking visual glitch if I've ever seen one. Holy hell. Alright, and it's raining. Wonderful. So not to add to my freaking stress and confusion and all that stuff. Let's just make it rain, you know? Let's just make it rain. Let's make Ryan even angrier. Okay, I need something to kill real quick. I need some meat. Is there anything over here that I can kill and get some meat? Because I'm going to need some for the froggy. Is there a fish at least in here? Are there any fish? Yes, there are some fish. Wonderful. Give me your face. That's a beaver. <laughs> that is not a fish. Aha, there's a fish right there. There's some fish right there. Wonderful. All right, let's get some coelacanth meat. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Let's see. Let's go ahead and take that out. Thank you. Give me your meat there, big boy. All right, 13 fish meat should be good enough for me to get started. At least get these guys, or at least get the baby frog started on some food. Oh, my goodness gracious. This better be amazing. I want to see this baby damn tadpole. All right, here we go. Any second now, we should have a brand new little tadpole. Hopefully so. Oh, Jesus, of course. The one time we have freaking twins. Oh, my God. These things are squirrely. They're tiny, and I can't see them. Oh, no. Okay, where's he at? I Where's the second one at? Oh, Jesus. Now the freaking... Okay, there's one right there. Give it to me. Holy shit, it's, it's an actual freaking tadpole. Okay, I need to claim the other one. Can I claim this one, please? There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, come here, big guys. Come here, little ones. Come here. Look at them. Oh my god, look at them. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and put some meat on their inventory. Let's go ahead and split it. There we are. There's some meat for you, big guy. And there's some meat for you, big guy. Okay, I really do want to see what these things look like. Let's go ahead and take them off of Wandering. Let's see. Okay, their, their freaking hitboxes are super tiny. Okay, I can't even see where they're at. Jesus criminy, come on. Okay, there we go. And disable wandering. Okay, there we go. Look at them. Look at the little baby frogs. Look at the little tadpoles. Oh, look at his little face, this big ass eyes. Oh my god, that's adorable. Let's see, can I bring them over to the shore just a little bit? I don't want to kill them, but I want to be able to get like a, a nice shot of them. Freaking hell. Okay, let's see. Where are they at? I don't see them. Uh, toggle names. They're right there. Is that as close to the shore as they can get? No. Okay, here they come. Come on, you two. Okay, they're like inside of the ground. Or at least one of them is. Oh, wait, no. He's right there. Okay. Oh, my gosh. These things are precious looking. All right, we'll go ahead and take them off a of wander. That works. Look at them. Look at this little guy. I don't even know how I would get a picture of this thing. And I'm out of meat, it seems. Okay, yeah, we're going to need to get some meat for these two. Uh, anybody want to be a volunteer? I think you do, Mr. Beaver. Come here, big guy. Let me get that face. Let me see that face of yours. Yeah, what do you think of me there, big boy? You've met your match, Sir Beaver. Oh, come on. How in the hell does that happen? Okay, come here, you damn thing. I just need a little bit of meat. I just need a little bit of meat. Thank you. All right, there we go. All right, now where's my baby froggies? They're somewhere over here. Here they are. Baby Beelzebufo. This one's super close to the ground. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, that. there's your point to freaking take the damn thumbnail picture, Ryan. Come on. Quit your fumbling. Okay, here. There you go, big guy. Hi, look at your little face. Actually, I don't like the fact that I'm pointing a gun at the baby. There we go. Yeah, that's right. I took your picture there, little guy. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and split that meat up for you. And there we go. Their food should be fine, though. Honestly, it should be. They've got a decent bit of food. Way more than I was ever expecting them to have in the first place. But okie dokie, you guys. I think I'm going to have to go ahead and end off today's episode right here. Because what a freaking day it was. Not only did we paint our brand new bionic skins, but... Oh my god, they're already juveniles. But we also got a brand new Beelzebufo and a brand new Baryonyx, which is just chilling up there by Deadpool. So, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more daily videos. And if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys in the next video.